reading large numbers. Let's begin by reviewing a place value chart. And so we can see that there are different periods made up of three places each. It's important to get familiar with the places of each period and know that there's three places in each period because we're gonna to have to separate those periods when we write our number. When you're saying or reading a number, do not use the word and unless you're reading a decimal. So for example, the number, this number right here, that's 495. There is no and, just 495. So here's some good news. You already know how to read number names when there's a two digit or a three digit number. Now, when we bring them together and form one large number, we need to focus on what period the number is in. We still know how to read this number name. It's still 75. It's just that 75 is like the first name. And then million, which is the period that it's in, that's gonna be the last name. So the full name, first and last name, would be 75 million. 75 million. Now when we move to this number, we already know the first name, 339, and then the last name, thousand. So the full name, 339,000. And then this last one, first name, 684, last name, it well, it actually doesn't have a last name. When you get to the ones, then you're done. I tried to make that rhyme, I did my best. So to read this whole thing, we would say 75,339,684. You're done. When you get to the ones, you're done. So let's practice with another large number. Whoa, whoa, big fella. We need to separate this up before we start diving into it. We're gonna use commas to separate each of those periods. And remember, there's three places in each period starting from the right. So here we go, we got one, two, three, then a comma for me. One, two, three, then a comma for me. One, two, I'm out of digits. Now we can go ahead and start reading our number but we're gonna focus on one period at a time. So I highly recommend that you use something to cover up the number so we can hide the digits that we're not looking at. It doesn't really matter what you use, just use something. You can use paper, you can use your hand, or maybe just your thumb. Use your favorite book, use your Nintendo Switch. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter what you use, just use something to block out the number so you're focused on one period at a time. Now that we covered up everything except for the millions period, Let's go ahead and read this number name. We'll do first name first and then last name. First name, 98. Last name, million. Don't forget the comma. All right, so now let's cover up the millions period and show the thousands period. First name, 300. Last name, thousand. Don't forget the comma. First name, 126. Last name, psych, you don't get a last name. So the whole number, 98,300,126. Boom. Check us out. Give me a little dance. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, all right, let's do another one. You know there's three places in the period starting from the right. So here we go. We got one, two, three, then a comma for me. One, two, three, then a comma for me. One, two, three. I'm out of digits again. I'm going to cover up everything that's not the millions period. First name, 428. Last name, million. Don't forget the comma. No doubt you've noticed the zero here, but don't let this scare you. We need that zero as a placeholder to show that we don't have any hundred thousands. First name, 45. Last name, thousand, because it's in the thousands period. Don't forget the comma. First name, 632. Last name, psych. You thought you was getting a last name this time, bro? No, sir. Remember, when you get to the ones, then you're done. Anyways, I'll keep practicing that rhyme while you keep practicing reading larger numbers.